Science short number one, fisheye lenses. What do they do? Today we are going to ask the questions, can a fisheye lens make a straight line curve? Can a fisheye lens make a curved line straight? And can a fisheye lens keep straight lines straight? So to start with, I take a picture to the left and middle and to the right. And then I use Adobe Illustrator, uh, the perspective tool, to create a little panoramic view. You may already know how zooming in will take a small slice and enlarge the view of it. It is important to note that while a fisheye lens allows for a much larger slice to be captured, it does this in a way that looks very different than if we were to back up or zoom out. Let's experiment more to find out what's going on. So here are some examples of relatively straight lines, first with a standard lens, then with a fisheye lens attachment. Take special note of what areas of the picture are distorted and which direction they bend. You may have noticed how the straight lines that are near the edges, the top, bottom, left, or right, are bending away from the center. However, the lines that run through the center of the image appear to remain relatively straight. This is because the areas that are being stretched or compressed are in the same direction that those lines run. With the standard lens, straight lines will almost always remain straight. They can run through the center or they can run down any side or any odd angle and still appear straight. With a fisheye lens, straight lines usually appear to bend. They will only remain straight if they run through the center. The further away a line is from the center, the more exaggerated the curve. So now that we understand the direction, an image will be compressed with a fisheye lens. Do you think it is possible to make a curved line appear straight? If so, how would it be done? If you said yes, you are right. We can make a curved line appear straight if the curved line is running close to the edge. This is not seen very often as it is a little tricky to pull off. You can do this experiment at home. You don't need to spend $600 on a Nikon Coolpix P900 for this one, nope. Although they are pretty cool, and so is the $300 P600. Uh, however, almost everyone has a phone with a camera and for as little as a dollar, you can get a fisheye lens attachment. You may want to spend a few bucks more to get a kit that includes a macro and some zoom lenses. You may want to use other filters in your search. I often use Buy It Now so I know the exact price and don't have to wait for an auction to end. Also, I'm cheap so I usually sort by price plus shipping, lowest first, and work my way up until I find an item of the quality I need. You may find one made specifically for your model phone or get a universal one that uses a magnet or a clip to attach to the phone. Click over here to change the location if you don't want to wait two weeks to get it from China. Now we can use what we learned to help us better understand the pictures and video we watch. Fisheye lens effects are easily seen when video pans back and forth or up and down. It is worth noting that most pictures from a high altitude are looking at the ground, the most interesting thing to look at. Also, in order to get the largest view, often a fisheye lens is used for balloons, rockets, skydiving, and so on. When the horizon line is up and away from the center while using a fisheye lens, the Earth will appear to curve like a ball. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe, add it to your high altitude balloon playlist, and donate your time to where you see it most needed. 
I felt called to research, test, and get this information out, you might be called to help in your own way. It will be the voluntary actions of people like you and I that will be the change this world needs. This is Tom Hayes with Truth is Social Suicide. Peace out.